over the past few years, I've been looking for an electric motorcycle that I that I think would meet my needs and I think that would be worth paying for. I mean, electric motorcycles, to be honest, they're not cheap and there's not that many out there. And I have to admit, I've been a little disappointed by the offerings available. Electric bicycles, amazing. The tech is insane. The prices are ridiculous. And I've got, I've got some really cool ones here. Uh, one that I can put surfboards on the side of it's awesome. I'm going to do a review video of that soon. But electric motorbikes, yeah, not so much. But that could be about to change very soon. Ducati's electric motorcycle, well, it uses a quantum scape solid state battery. And it's therefore the really first truly desirable motorcycle, electric motorcycle that I've ever seen. This is the future of the motorbike industry. Electric, I know it's hard to see now for some people, but actually by 2040, I think pretty much all motorbikes being sold worldwide will be fully electric. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Electric motorbikes haven't really taken off like electric cars have. One of the reasons is it's true. Range has been a bit of an issue. Ducati, which is owned by the Volkswagen Group, is the sole supplier for motorbikes for the Moto E World Championship. So Ducati makes some pretty good bikes. I've had some friends that have owned them and they've loved them. Now, racing bikes still can't match. Now, electric motorbikes can't quite match the ability of their internal combustion engine powered equivalents. And for whatever reason, the technology just hasn't progressed all that far until now. An, an overhauled version of Ducati's V21L was presented in Germany, equipped with 980 QSD5 cells from QuantumScape, solid state batteries. These cells use a lithium metal anode and a ceramic separator, which enables incredible improvements in energy density, fast charging capability, safety, and even life cycle over traditional lithium batteries that have thus far been used in electric motorbikes that we've seen so far. Ducati didn't reveal how much the solid state battery of the vehicle actually weighs, and they didn't reveal the range of the bike either, unfortunately. But... Theoretically, it should be up to double the range or close to double the range of existing electric motorbikes, which are getting around 200 kilometers of range. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen many motorbikes capable of 400 kilometers of range that are powered by gasoline or petrol. So this is actually huge. And the thing is, electric motorbikes don't suffer for power. They are ridiculously fast. The challenge has just been range at this point in time. This is what Ducati said. We have a long history of pushing the boundaries of technology to improve the riding experience both on the road and on the racetrack. Our pursuit of innovation has allowed us to achieve incredible results, including the record of six consecutive MotoGP constructors titles. The high energy density achieved with solid state batteries is a perfect fit for a high performance vehicle like a sport motorcycle. QuantumScape. What's the deal there, right? Well, Volkswagen has spent more than a decade working with the Californian battery manufacturer with the goal of bringing solid state batteries to road cars, to electric cars. And well, Ducati apparently has been testing them for quite a while now. So it looks as though this Ducati electric, well, this Ducati solid state powered electric motorbike could be available for sale within the next 18 months. And that could change the game for motorbikes, for electric motorbikes. Now, it's true that in many parts of the world, electric mobility has absolutely gone crazy. Places like Bangladesh that I just recently visited, uh, Thailand, electric scooters, electric mopeds, uh, electric skateboards, uh, electric bicycles have gone crazy. And I mean, even though we haven't really gone to that whole um, you know, high powered electric motorcycle scene being replaced by electric bikes yet. I believe that'll happen pretty soon. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you wanna get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you gotta do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day 
Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. There's one country in the world that's worked out something very, very smart. If you introduce electric bikes and electric scooters to any country's grid, city, traffic decreases enormously. Studies have shown that if you take away electric bikes and electric scooters, massive amounts of traffic congestion are a result. This country has worked out that it can save millions of dollars in health costs and massively reduce congestion on its grid by giving people money to switch from a car to an electric bike. This is what every city in the world should be doing right now because it makes sense. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have every single one of you and everyone else. Fantastic to see you as well. There's one country paying people $4,000 to switch to an electric bike from a polluting city street clogging gasoline powered vehicle. France will pay you 4,000 euros, which Aussies, that's around, that's actually a bit more than 6,000 Australian dollars or about US $4,000 to swap your old polluting car for a cleaner, more efficient and more city appropriate electric bicycle. That makes a major increase in the incentive design to improve French cities. Now I have an electric bike. The other day I had to get my car serviced, took my car to get serviced, and I took my electric bike with me so I could ride to work. I realized I timed myself riding to work and I've driven that distance in my car many times. And guess what? It was no quicker to drive. And I don't live in the city. I just ride on the bike paths. There was no traffic lights. It was amazing. So actually, it makes a lot of sense for people as well in that, in that regard, because you don't have the stresses of dealing with traffic congestion, being stuck in traffic. You're on an electric bicycle or an electric scooter. It's actually often quicker. France actually had this incentive before, but they realized it was working incredibly well. So they boosted the amount. Pedal bicycles are also included in this generous incentive bike, in this generous incentive package. Though e-bikes are contributing to one of the biggest jumps in cycling ever across Europe and much of the world. Now, why is this happening? I've been talking about this to everyone who will listen to me for a long, long time. The reason is the average person who buys an electric bike continues to ride it regularly. The average person who buys a bicycle does not. Unfortunately, approximately 80% of people who buy a bicycle, what do they do? They ride it for a few weeks, it's a fad, then it sits in the shed or the garage or the house and it doesn't get used very rarely. But it's very different with electric bicycle purchases. 